Hey guys and girls, uh, my name's John, Johnny Dio on Facebook. Uh, I'm just gonna go over um, a rundown, uh, walk through. I have a 2002 Chevy Corvette Z06. And uh, the intent of this video is to just, not to brag about my car or anything like that. I mean, there's a ton of guys that have these. Um, but to kind of go over some stuff, uh, work that I've done to it, maybe help somebody out, maybe give someone an idea. Um, uh, that's that's the intent of this is to is really to help people out. So prior to this car, I had a, a 1987 Chevy S10. I got it. It was um, it was already V8 swap. Uh, I had a V8 with a turbo 350, the original 10 bolt. I um, got a better V8 for it. Uh, put it in. Ended up changing the 10 bolt to a nine inch. Got a Denny's drive shaft, um, and then went to a twin turbo setup with that small block 400. Um, and then power glide transmission, and that's a, I'm sorry, power glide transmission, then the Denny's drive shaft uh, that hooked up to the, the nine inch. Um, truck was great, it ran on E85, had a 10 point cage, uh, swing outs on the door bars. It was really nice truck, had a full interior. Um, but I, I got out of the drag racing scene, uh, so I sold it, guy in Kansas bought it, uh, and I used that money and bought the Z06. So. Uh, here we go. So first things first, yeah, it's an Electron Blue 2002 uh, Corvette Z06. Uh, I'll start with the interior. Um, in here, you can see I upgraded the seats. Uh, took out the stock seats. Uh, a lot of guys recommended the Corbo uh, Evolution X seats. So I got those with the, uh, the sliders from Corbo. Um, so I, I did that. It did have a crossbar already in it and that's actually the name of the bar it's called crossbar um, so when I go autocrossing I do use a five part point harness um, it's not necessary but I like it it uh, goes back to my drag racing days um, I prefer that five point harness and the fifth point of uh, contact is down there for the fifth uh, harness bar or for the heart fifth seat belt the and it's in uh, my glove box and just clips in the rest are hard bolted into the car. Um, you can see that it has a C6 shifter in it. I do have an MGW shifter to go in there. Um, I just haven't put it in yet. I've had a lot of work on it. I did put a Pioneer head unit. It does have a flip up uh, screen. A lot of guys don't like it because it blocks the vents. Uh, I typically don't use the vents anyway. Um, I preferred that because I wanted to keep the OEM uh, center console there, uh, especially with the door for the uh, cup holder, which I never use as a cup holder, but I do put some stuff in there. In my opinion, it just looks nicer. Other than that, uh, I do have WeatherTech mats in there, which is no biggie, uh, but I like them. They fit, they fit great and, uh, you know, not worried about getting anything in the carpet, whatever. So that's basically it. Pretty much stock, except for, you know, the seats and the, the bar and the radio. Got this car, it had a lot of check boxes checked um, off of it. Uh, first off, it has uh, had, it had the LS6 in there. It did have a fast intake. It was a 90 millimeter, so it was one of the first fast intakes, I believe, that came out. Had a cam in there, comp cam. Uh, I think it was a special grind or a, um, yeah, custom grind, I should say. Custom grind, long tube headers, AFR heads, uh, LS7 clutch. Um, it had the, the aluminum pan on the bottom. Uh, was was a thicker one, so it was an aftermarket one. The rear end has 390 gears in it with with uh, 390 motive gears in it. That had been done. Um, heads up display had been redone. So there was a lot of stuff that had been done in this car prior to. So I got it, and uh, it did. Uh, it had a little ticking. Turns out that one of my uh, rockers blew up. They didn't have the trunnion upgrade, and um, it was on piston eight. Uh, piston 8 uh, one of the, the rockers went um, so I replaced that it was running good but uh, it was it had always burned oil a little bit and as time went on I found out that the ring lands and piston 7 had gone bad um, and I just found that out this year so I pulled that engine and I got an LS2 short block um, so I put that in um, I wanted uh, some of the hoses here the radiator hoses were red I didn't like them, so I wanted to go back with black. So I got the black hoses. I got the black fast 92 millimeter intake. It already had the LS2 uh, throttle body on it. I got an air aid intake. The other one I wasn't too keen on. Um, but here's some things. So I have Dynatech long tube headers. I do have them wrapped, as you can see there. 
um, just to reduce some of the underhood temperatures and to protect some of the, the other equipment that's in here. Uh, I do have a Moroso catch can, uh, like I'd mentioned, the LS2 uh, throttle body. Uh, I have AFR heads on there, um, fast intake. Um, so with the LS2, for example, the knock sensors, so the knock sensors on an LS1 and LS6 are in the valley cover in here. So I went Texas Speed and I bought the uh, extender. There's a there's a kit where you can just plug it right in to the original knock sensor uh, clip. And then I have two knock sensors. They have their heart, you can't see them, but I have one uh, on the block here and there's one on the block on the other side in the similar position. And then also the, uh, the cam sensor is around here. That's another extension. Uh, that you can buy from Texas Speed. Um, and the cam sensor is on the, the front plate, uh, but the cam sensor, I have it running through, the, running through here, and then it comes up and plugs in uh, down there. So the LS2 um, did have, when I had the short block, I got it from a guy, it was used, he, he freshened it up. He did put a 24 tooth um, reluctor wheel on there uh, so that it would run with my stock computer. So, uh, again, you can see wrapped headers. Um, I replaced uh, the water pump, the harmonic balancer since it was out. You always, you know, you want to get a new harmonic balancer when you do that. But um, that's really it. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Uh, for me, a lot of guys uh, can pull the engine out. A lot of guys recommend pulling it out, putting your um, cherry picker on the side come in picking up the engine and sliding it out the side. Uh, the way my garage is set up, I can't do that. My car was actually backed in and I pulled it out. So the front of the car was here and I have to use the cherry picker this way and I'd lift it up, pull it out. Well, I couldn't get that in, I couldn't get the engine out without dropping the cradle a little bit, excuse me, in order to get it off the input shaft from the transmission. So I do have quick jacks. I use those, um, got up as high as I could. I did drop the, train, uh, the the cradle, the front cradle. I used a, uh, a jack underneath it to bring it down. Uh, disconnected the suspension, disconnected the shocks uh, from the top. And then I was able to get the engine out, slide it forward enough. Um, and then uh, the opposite when putting it back. One of the things that I did do, which is really, you can't see it from the top, is I can show you the hoses though. If you look down in there, there's some AN hoses, some, uh, stainless braided and hoses um, that is for an oil cooler so what i have is i've got doug rippy motorsports uh has a sit has a kit um, and it comes with a cooler i got the race cooler so it's bigger um, a cooler which goes under here uh, and it bolts through the crossbar that's down there uh, doug rippy motorsports has a kit the only thing is is there the adapter that plugs I'm sorry, plugs, screws into the bottom of the block where the oil filter is, um, it's open all the time. So what happens is oil's constantly flowing through there. So I went with uh, Improved Racing has a kit specifically for the Corvette, which houses, you, you bolt it to that spot, and then it's got a thermostat in it, and you can determine what temperature you want it to open, and open at. And I have that on there with the Doug Rippey Motorsports, the rest of the Doug Rippey Motorsports kit. At the time, <coughs> excuse me, Improved Racing did not have a kit for it. They do now have a kit. Um, it's still cheaper to go with Doug Rippey Motorsports and with Improved Racing um, and still have the same setup. So uh, Randy Rippey was a guy I talked to a lot. He's a great guy. I highly recommend going through him. The only difference is if it's a street car, I recommend an improved racing uh, oil um, cooler adapter because it does have, that's not the box, is it? No, it's not the box. It does have the thermostat in it so that it'll open at whatever temperature mine happens to be 180. Um, I did use Willwood uh, drilled slotted rotors. I have Hawk HP Plus pads on here, which are great, like I said, for autocrossing. Uh, the only problem is 
is that they do squeak, especially in the back a little bit. If you're coming to a slow stop on the, on the road, they do squeak. Um, and I do have a square setup. These are my street tires, uh, Mickey Thompson uh, Sport Comp tires, 295-35-18s, um, front and back. And I have the 18 by 10 and a half uh, Z06 wheels. And I have a second set of 18 by 10 and a half Z06 wheels um, with Yokohama Advin A052s. Uh, 295, 35, 18, which I'm going to use for autocross this year. It'll be the first year I use them. Last year was my first year autocrossing. I used Nitto NT05s. They were good, um, but the uh, I was going to get the Advans, but then I saw that they didn't come in a depth that was quote unquote legal. Uh, now they make them in 730 seconds starting tread depth, and they're considered quote unquote again legal. So I'm going to try those this year. Um, I did have a Corsa Extreme exhaust on the back. So I have the Dynatech headers that go into the Dynatech mid-pipe with the X-pipe. And then um, I had Corsa Extreme exhaust. It was way too loud for me. Uh, anytime you stepped on it, I think people from miles around knew that you were coming. So I ended up selling that on uh, Facebook Marketplace. Um, and then a guy locally actually had um, the Borla exhaust that I was looking for. And I can't remember the name of it. It's not the Stinger. It's the one below that. So it's quieter. And it's perfect. Uh, doesn't draw any tension. Sounds like a muscle car. Um, and um, it's been great so far. So I did replace the radiator. That's another thing, too, is I replaced the radiator. I said, once I'm here, I might as well do that. Replace the radiator. Um, and that's really about it. Again, this car had a lot of check boxes checked off. Um, it's been lowered. I haven't touched it since I've got it. Uh, it's been lowered on the stock bolts. Um, I did a lot of vet light stuff. So I have the switchbacks, and I'll turn on the lights for you. I have the switchbacks in the front, uh, which I kind of like because the front, um, when you have it on, the, the front lights kind of look like uh, fog lights, which I like better than the look of then the look of uh, all amber and then in the back um, I got their LED side markers which I think are really slick I have LED bulbs in the tail lights LED uh, bulbs in the backup lights and I have some LED bulbs in uh, where the sun visors are so the sun visors have LED bulbs in them I haven't gotten into any LED stuff internally in the car, um, and I have not done the headlights uh, with LEDs because the car came with um, upgraded um, headlights anyway. So I've been good with, uh, with all of that. Um, eventually I will do an LED light under the hood, and uh, as you can see, I am looking to get a new uh, hood insulator because um, this one's got some for lack of a better term, term crap on it. So that's 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 my Electron Blue 2002. Um, and uh, like I said, with the red hoses, the red valve uh, covers, the there was a, the coupler was red uh, for the intake. Those were things that just didn't appeal to me. Um, so I went with black, and I think it looks so much better. And then the valve covers kind of just pop, and then the red on the the fast intake. Um, is a nice compliment. Um, oh, I forgot one thing. I do have the clutch, uh, the, the external clutch um, bleeder kit on there too. That was also on it when I got it. So another, you know, the plus uh, for this car. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, hopefully that stuff helped. You know, for example, like with the knock sensors, knock sensors need to go on the side of the block uh, for the LS2. Uh, there's no provision for them and the valley cover and actually it's a better design in my opinion because you can get to them it's not easy but you can get to them and uh if you needed to change them out you could so i hope you enjoyed um if it was helpful if i helped one person that's great have a great day everybody